Uh, how are you? Today we're going to learn how to make this stick gun. This gun uses a stick as its bullet and it's a good toy for kids this holiday, this season that they are at home, they can make this on their own and go play with it outside there. Instead of them going to play with their neighbors whom they don't know where the neighbor has been playing and hence can get infected. So how do we make this stick gun now? One, we need a wire, a very long one, we need a rubber band, we need a pliers to help us fold the wire, and we also need the sticks that are our bullets. So let us get started on making our uh, stick gun. So first we will bend the mouth, this piece where we've tied our rubber band. That is where we start by bending. So we will use our pliers because it's kind of difficult to bend it. So for children, you will need to ask your parents to go help you because it is very dangerous for you to deal with uh, such kinds of appliances. So after us making this kind of bend, we will bend it upwards. We'll tilt it upwards a little bit. So we tilt it that way. So it is a good one now. After that, we will approximate like 5 centimeters from the tilt that we've made, then make a loop where we will hook our bullet stick. So we make our loop. So we're making our loop here. Good. So this is how our gun looks like. So this is the first loop here in our gun. So we've made where we tie our rubber band, we make our loop. So that is what we've made here. Then after that, we will extend to make the hind loop. So what we do, we fold that way to the back. So you fold your wire to the back, then approximate like 10 centimeters from the loop, 10 centimeters approximately. So we're not sure because we don't have a ruler. So we just approximate, then you bend downwards, not the side of the loop. So you fold your wire downwards. Then after that, you fold the wire back to the front, to where you had originated from. Then after that, you will fold it again upwards, so that your wire looks like this. So you fold it upwards so that now your wire looks like that. So what we are forming is this hind loop that will be acting as our cock for the, for the shooting. So after that, we make the loop like the one we made earlier. So we do the loop. We do our loop. Good. So after that, we fold to conclude our gun and there we have it we have our gun so you can pull and push it is working so you remove the excess wire by cutting it using our pliers we remove the excess wire by cutting it using our pliers so our gun is ready only that we've not put our rubber band so now what we do we tie our rubber band so when tying your rubber band, you approximate the length that will be elastic to the first loop. You approximate the length that will be elastic to the first loop. Do not put it too long because you need the tension to release the stick. Do not put it too long because you need the tension to release the stick. So this one is good. So after that, we tie it tight. We tie it very tight so that it cannot uh, come out when we are shooting so good then you finish your tie by tying it that way very smart so we have our gun good so after that we load our gun by our bullet that is a stick we load our gun using our bullet that is the stick that way so now we have our gun loaded then it can shoot it can shoot then we load our gun again 
with our stick bullets. We load our gun with our stick bullets and try to shoot. Good. So that is how our gun is made. So you can try this at home, wherever you are. You can try it. It is very easy. It is very cheap. It uses readily available materials. So watch out for our next innovations. Until then, goodbye.